Greetings, Spelman College community. I'm Mary Schmidt Campbell, and since August of 2015, I've had the great privilege of serving as the 10th president of Spelman College. I came out of retirement to assume this role because I felt called to make a meaningful contribution to the 140 year history of this extraordinary school. What a privilege it has been. Today, I'm here to share news that at the end of the 2021-2022 academic year, I will retire once again. This decision has not been easy, but I am so proud of the community of students, faculty, staff, my senior leadership team, alumni, parents, trustees, and friends of the college who have worked with me diligently to ensure a bright future for Spelman. Look at everything we have accomplished together. Major investments in our academic programs, upgrades to our technology infrastructure, and renewals to critical facilities on campus. Our six-year graduation rate of 75% continues to be higher than the national average. And we continue to work toward making sure that every enrolled student graduates and leave Spelman with a professional opportunity to pursue. Together, we kept Spelman the top producer of black women scientists, and our faculty are among the top educators of liberal arts colleges in this country. I have loved every minute of serving as the president of this phenomenal school. Even with the challenges of the past 18 months, I know that as we head into a new academic year, we will continue the work of building this community of purpose, this place that more than any other prepares Black women to become global leaders. To all of you, thank you. I am blessed to have had the opportunity to serve, and I will be forever grateful. I speak on behalf of the entire Spelman College Board of Trustees when I say, we appreciate all that Dr. Campbell has done for the Spelman community. I'm Roz Brewer, and I chair the Board of Trustees of Spelman College. The board has enjoyed an endearing and fruitful partnership with Dr. Campbell, making this transition bittersweet. While we accept Dr. Campbell's assessment that this is the right time to return to retirement, we will greatly miss her impactful and compassionate leadership. Mary has amazed us from the very beginning. She brought tremendous learnings from her experience as a museum director, a cultural affairs commissioner for the city of New York, dean of the country's premier school of the arts and her award-winning scholarly pursuits. We will forever be grateful for the pathway she has set for her successor. As a result of Dr. Campbell's extraordinary leadership and commitment, Spelman continues to contribute to the black community the nation, and the world. During her tenure, the college strengthened its business model with East Spelman, an online education enterprise, added five new endowed professorships, and raised more than $250 million in the first four years of a capital campaign. The endowment has also grown from $350 million to close to $500 million as the college plans major renovations and additions to its physical plant. In the coming months, the board will lead a formal and comprehensive search to find the ideal person to lead Spelman in our next exciting chapter. We will share regular updates, but I want to emphasize that we are committed to ensuring a seamless transition for the Spelman community. We look forward to continuing to work with Dr. Campbell throughout this academic year. Thank you.